those phenomenal Sal sex stories, if you have a moment. Uh, okay, I was going to get to a bunch of stuff, but go it's, ahead. It's a top-of-the-line story. I wouldn't bother you. So, in fact, we're thinking about doing an FME category called Best Sal Sex Story because he's involved in so much stuff. But they don't involve sex. It's just Are you, right, it's it's just usually with, him it, by himself at a booth. Exactly. Yeah. So he goes to Cleveland this weekend with Richard and Craig Gass to do a show, right? Okay. They do their show. They go out. They hit a couple of bars. It's getting so late and their flight's so early that they get to the point where they're like, you know what, let's just stay up all night, okay? Okay. So uh, Sal and Richard go back to Richard's room. They're supposed to stay up all night. Richard falls asleep. Sal suddenly decides that he has to take care of business, okay? Oh, yeah. And there's nothing around for him to um, clean up when he's finished taking care of business. I'm trying to be as... Where is this, in a hotel? In a hotel we're, room. We're late. Yeah, yeah, 4 o'clock in the morning. Are you in the same room? Yes. Yeah, well, yeah, well, and you're yeah. sleeping in the same bed? We're getting on a plane for 5 a.m. So Richard goes, hey, why don't we just stay together and awake on my bed? So I go, okay. So we're laying in the bed together, and we were supposed to stay awake, but Richard passed out. Well, and we stayed up late because we're hang there was a tour bus. Dude, wait a second. And you decide at that moment you well, have to no, pleasure yourself? No, was, you are the gayest mother ever on, on, on the planet. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> a guy is laying I in bed with okay, you? I'm, 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 I, I, I can dude, explain. Dude, you know what? Divorce your wife. Marry him. Because he's gay and you're gay. Well, yeah, I'm sitting there thinking what about a Richard is always bad. suggesting that he sleep with <laughs> yeah. Sal. I like that. Well, it was I like we didn't want to miss our plus. Sal's always Wait. accepting it. Yeah, well, I, I don't know why I said yes. I said, okay, and... You know, it's funny, too, Greg Gass came with us, too, so Greg Gass pulls up a chair and starts telling us jokes, and we both passed out. <laughs> so wait a second, you pleasured yourself in the room with a guy in bed with you? This is what happened. So Richard's asleep, he's turned over. It's a quarter to five. Is he nude? No. And I'm not nude either. We're laying in our jeans. It's funny, too, because the lights were still on. The he might have been looking on. at me. And that's what happened. <laughs> and to my left was Richard's DVDs. So I start looking at the back, because they show up, and I said, what the hell? In my business. In bed, laying yeah, next to Yeah, but I turned the... I turned the little... Oh, uh, dude. I don't know, man, really. What the hell is wrong with you? I was drunk. I was How tired. How could you ever pleasure yourself with a man in the bed with you? I looked the other way. I looked at the... I was looking at the other wall. So it's the same room. Why did you room. even think of it? Dude, a guy's laying next to you. Oh, I was yeah. really drunk. I mean, you're not even ashamed? Like, like, what if he woke up and saw you doing it? I hey, would have hey, probably enjoyed it. Oh, yeah. I just took it out. Bed, I'm tired. You can do that? Yeah, no problem. That would annoy me. Two seconds, dude. With the, with the zipper and yeah, the Lincoln like, bump? Yeah, it's like... That won't be stopped. <laughs> seconds. He won't, be, won't be stopped. He won't. he won't be denied. So... I'm you can't be my shirt, shirt, My button on. shirt is off. Let me take over here, because... I can do it without... You sure? It. Yeah, yeah. Okay. My button shirt's off, and I'm like, oh... You know, <laughs> I'm looking at my hands, and oh, what do I do? You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's a big mess. Okay. Big mess. So, yeah. I just grab my shirt off the floor, which is laying by the side of the bed, and I... Clean up my hands. I roll the shirt in a ball and I throw it on the floor. I totally forgot about this. I had no intentions of bringing the shirt home. I call up Craig Gass because I forgot some stuff in the bathroom. In my room, which was connected to Richard. So Craig calls me back and goes, hey, got good news, dude. Don't worry. Got what are you saying? You had connecting rooms and you're still sleeping in the bed with him and yeah. you can't go into your own room and pleasure yourself. <laughs> because... It was Dude, there's something <laughs> really going on. Away. It didn't feel like walking. Hey. It's big, oh, you think yeah. subconsciously you watch yeah. to get close. I'm going to go one room. step further. Why connecting rooms? I don't know. They just put this that way. But why would he be? Well, like, if, I, if, I, if I want to pleasure myself, I'm with you. I'm like, hey, I'll go over to my room. Yeah, and sure. Or even in Howard, the bathroom. Howard. Like in the bathroom. But it excited you to be near, near Richard. I think so. No, it didn't. Not at all. Not one bit. I'm flattered. You tell me why. I, I was woozy. I was drunk. The DVDs will... He had a stack of DVDs on a nightstand. I just started grabbing them and looking at the back, and I said, oh, what the hell? It'll take me three seconds. <laughs> I face the other way. I do my business. I clean up my shirts all filthy. I roll it in the bowl. I drop it on the floor. Craig Gass calls. He goes, hey, I got your toothpaste. I got your deodorant. And he goes, and, dude, I also got your shirt in uh, Rich's room, so don't worry about it. And bring it. And he, he doesn't have any idea. So right now... <laughs> Craig Gass has my soap. suitcase. It's his suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta call him. And tell but he calls me. Somebody warned me. He called me like you get the biggest face. Like, dude, I found your shirt in Rich's room. <laughs> I got that too. <laughs> 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 he's, well, he's got his suitcase has that shirt right now. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta call him and tell him that Sal doesn't remember uh, the shirt and he needs him to describe it. So could he take it out of the suitcase no, and no. hold it up and describe the it? The shirt's crunchy Where, for where's some Craig reason. right now? We gotta look. I don't know. I can find him, but find him. Let's put him on the okay. air and tell him. I'll, I'll look for him. <laughs>
<laughs> Just have him touch it a little bit more. Dude, you I'm are... even creeped out doing... Like, last night I had to do that while Beth was next to me. And at least he's a girl. Was she asleep? Uh, well, here's what happened. Was, uh, I'm not going to go into it, but... I got interrupted? Yeah. So, I'm laying down at night, and we're watching TV... I'm watching 60 Minutes, which was real good last yeah, night. Yeah, it was. I saw 60 Minutes. I didn't see the Derek Jeter piece yet. I taped it, though. Uh, it made me like Derek Jeter. I never oh, yeah? liked him. He's a good guy. Well, anyway, I'm laying there, and, like, I'm talking to her, and I go, oh, you know, I'm... my nads are blue, you know? <laughs> so uh, she could care less. So I go, hey, let, let's did they act, did they literally turn blue? Or? Oh, no, but they hurt. And I was just Richard. like, hey, you know, I want to have some sex. And she was like, you could just tell she was so not into it. She goes, no, 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 tomorrow or something. Tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Now's the time. Yeah, like I need it now, kind of. I do. And then I, I said, you know what? It's really hot in here. I'm going to sleep naked. And I and I pulled my underpants off and <laughs> and my, my shirt. And I'm laying there completely <laughs> nude. And I'm thinking I look sexy, right. you know? You're thinking she's going to be turned on. Yeah, like the lights are low. And I'm thinking and I'm all thin. And, like, you know, and, and I'm even, like, you know, like I'm, I'm like, putting one leg up because... I'm thinking I look good. What are you modeling? Yeah. I'm like, and, and then I start rubbing into her, and I go, you should sleep nude. And, and she's like, she's like, she's she's just like, no, 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 I don't want to be nude right now. And, and then all of a sudden, I realize she's asleep, and I go, well, that's it. I'm going to pleasure myself. She goes, okay. <laughs> you're, you're trying to upset her. <laughs> so I just, I, mm, nothing. So, so I said, you know what? I really should go through with this, even though I'm embarrassed. Uh-huh. I, I really should go through with it because I'll never get to sleep. I was completely charged up. And I did it. I, I was able to lay there. The whole thing. Yeah, and I think because this morning she wakes up and goes, hey, am I imagining this? Did I uh, kind of go to sleep with you pleasuring yourself? <laughs> that was a dream. And I go, yeah. She goes, did you finish? I go, yeah, I did. That's right. Like angry. <laughs> Good Take for you. That. Defiant. And yeah, I cleaned yeah. it up on your pillowcase. <laughs> you showed her. <laughs> you showed her. You know, I found out from a woman, apparently the when you're in the mood and they're not, the rubbing up against them, that doesn't work. Oh, yeah? It just never works. I thought it would. Yeah, I used to think it would work. Well, too. I kept taking, this is a story better on it, uh, uh, but I, I took myself and kept kind of smacking her with it. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? That's awesome. Like on, my, on her leg. That's like uh, like a, and I thought like that a, would turn her on, and she goes, what is that? That's disgusting. You're like a jockey. <laughs> I thought you meant in her face. So. No, no, no. <laughs> disgusting, Richard. No, like on her butt. <laughs> That's awesome. But at least she was female. Uh, my question to you is, yeah, she's female. if you got, if you're out, you know, traveling with a bunch of guys, and happen. you all have individual rooms, I don't care how late it is, how much you've had to drink, do you oh, say, please. okay, I'm going to sleep in your room? No. In fact, i got to tell you something. I mean, I was in college for four years. I had two male roommates in college with me. I didn't pleasure myself for four years. Right. Because I wasn't going to do that in front of a dude. Not even in the same room with a dude. Not in the bathroom? No. No, no, no. Not with dudes yeah. around. See, I, would I, say, I was saying that Howard and I and Artie, probably like three of the horniest guys I know, <laughs> would never, ever, ever, ever do in what you just described. In a bed with a man? If you're in bed, I, no, I had no intentions of staying in Richard's room. Well, I don't care what you well, do. Really? You pleasured yourself laying in bed next was, to Richard. I was too tired. I'm just lazy. It was Dude, laziness. That's that's just, court, first of all, it's you disgusting. Were, your room was right through a door. Yeah. I would have gone to another floor. <laughs> but I was I mean? so tired that I didn't even get up for you were tired. tissues. I grabbed my shirt. I used my See, shirt. Can I admit? Dude, I don't even know. Uh -oh. you can, can I admit something? You were awake. No, no. <laughs> what? That would be wrong. Something. I had a similar thing happen one time because I was in a band and we had to share a hotel room. And I shared it with uh, another guy in the band. And I was, like, taking care of myself in the bed. And he walked in. And and didn't know I was doing that, but then he laid down in the bed, and I I wanted to keep going, so I had to do that. Too. I had to end up finishing with the guy next. <laughs> <laughs> I, I waited until he went to sleep. Well, you're in bed with more guys, man. He's always sleeping.
keep it with men. Hey, Howard, you, you should have seen right out of the tour bus, Rich goes, hey, we only got one hour to go. Why don't we all come back and stay in my room? That's right, my I was, and you know what's great? Richard's great at getting guys into bed. It's those chicks in here. Yeah, so we're getting can't make a move with <laughs> the women. I know. I had no. I tried Saturday. This this girl bought me a shot. And Can you say, hey, there's uh, only an hour until I go to sleep. Let's all go back to the bed, meaning you and the girl. That's yeah. now. I yeah, tried. So well, Sally's comfortable with. I was hitting on this chick at a strip club Saturday night, and then I hear this voice from down the hall. Hey, stop hitting on my wife. And it ended up being some guy's wife, unfortunately. She was hey, hot. Though. you want to have a good, some good fun? Here's Richard's father, Richard's hillbilly father, calling him on his answering machine again. This is a new I one. love his messages. Yeah, these are great. This is uh, Richard's dad. It's just a whole nother world down there in Kansas. Yeah, you know what, what I mean? happened this time? Because he's always updating Richard on what's going yeah. on. Well, you won't even know what's going on. Like, you'll right. listen to this and go, I don't understand it's what's in, going on. It's in right. code. Hi, Rich. This is your dad. I thought I'd call you. I got back from catching bullheads for fish bait. Them old flatheads, they, they like them bullheads and hadn't. Found another baby chick in the yard. Had to take it to its mother. So we'll talk to you later. <laughs> we'll Lots talk to you going later. on this week. We're baby chicken, chicken flathead. <laughs> Bullheads and flatheads. Do you know what those are? You should call them back. Hey, Dad, this weekend, uh, Sal laid next to me and pleasured himself while I slept. <laughs> yeah, do you tell him what you're doing? No, I don't leave any messages with him. <laughs> hey, Dad, this is Richard out here in New York. Sal, my new friend, was naked in the bed <laughs> and pleasured himself and then put his dirty shirt in Craig Gass's suitcase. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Bye. Talk to you later. While you were gathering bullheads, uh, I had another homosexual experiment. <laughs> <laughs> talk to you later. In the big city. You, yeah. know, uh, you know Richard's dad skins raccoons? No. Uh, yeah, and uh, he sells the fur to the fur people, really? and he sells the meat to black people. Does he? <laughs> yes. He goes to true? ghettos and sells the meat. Is that right? <laughs> That's part of how he makes his work. I mean, they're really poor. They, their no. house. Their house. Makes, <laughs> I remember their house cost $20,000. Right. And, when? Back uh, in the 80s? In the 80s, yeah. That's all right. My dad's house cost 14000 We're going to 1961. <laughs> and my dad only made... It's still what? worth 14000 That's the amazing thing. My parents really know how to pick real estate. <laughs> well, my dad, uh, he's retired, and they don't make much money still, so they hunt and they, they fish because they that's how they eat. Right. I mean, they don't really buy groceries. Or anything. Last night I called, and he was eating some flathead that he had caught, some cat. What's a bullhead, uh, though? That's another type. It's a small catfish that the Use big catfish the bullhead eat. to catch the flathead. Yeah. Man, what's is wrong it, with you? Is a raccoon like sort of oh, like a you rabid? Mean, yeah, don't they have like a, a lot of diseases? Yeah, yeah, yeah but you I, the ones but you feed them to the black mad. people. <laughs> well, he's <laughs> all for what? There's some rabid coon meat. Black people. Come I mean, here and bite this. If you don't go crazy, it means it's good. Yeah. <laughs> so your dad skins coons mm -hmm. and sells them. The fur goes where? Sometimes he'll throw a possum in there just he, to fool him. He makes money off the fur. That's kind of how he makes his living now is, is from hunting. What do you do with raccoon fur? Like, what is it used for? Coats. Yeah, coats, coats and things like that. And I know you people, anybody with like, a raccoon coat? Yeah, raccoon coat. Uh, uh, remember Jackie Gleason. Remember right. Jackie Gleason? <laughs> and I know people are going to go crazy, especially in the city. I know how no, it is. No, I don't like, think so because people don't like raccoons. Exactly. Oh, well, I, I know, like, these days that's kind of a, a weird subject. But, my, I mean, that's in Kansas, and that's how he Oh, makes you mean the fur living. thing? Yeah. Hey, yeah. when you're starving... You kill whatever you want. Yeah. And he uses the raccoon feet to pleasure himself with. <laughs> but so, he, so he takes all the meat, and what does he go? Where, well, where do the black people We go? used to eat it, actually, but it's so disgusting taste. And my yeah. mom used to make barbecued raccoon. <laughs> but no, none of the kids would eat it. Good hey, recipe for raccoon. raccoon. No, you can't make it given. taste good no matter what. Hey, I heard Sal's shirt is available. Maybe someone will eat that. <laughs> hey, what but he, have, you, have you ever eaten rabbit? Sal's yeah. Shirt. Rabbit and squirrel. squirrel. You eat squirrel? You eat a squirrel? How's that taste? Terrible. Really? My dad loves it, though. They, my, oh. my mom and dad love it. Your dad will go out back and shoot a squirrel and eat it? And eat it. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. What else have you eaten that's a weird animal? Um, Man. Snapping Man. turtle. And Pigeon. Possum. Your dad and... finds a turtle and eats it? Yeah. Wow. How does he do that? Like, how does he kill it? Um, he boils he, it. He don't kill it. He catches yeah. a lot of... <laughs> 
<laughs> Who said anything about killing it? He he ate said it. How do you, how do you, how do you prepare a turtle for death? I mean, what do you do to um, it? Well, a lot of them he catches on limb lines. He ties these lines to a, a, a limb that's hanging over the river and, yeah. and puts fish on it, and turtles will come by and, and bite it and get hooked. And then he puts and them in a small turtle electric chair. <laughs> no, really, but then how do you kill them? Um, he cracked it. I'm not, I never saw him do it because I always thought it was gross. How big are these? Yeah, he cracks their shell. Oh, they're huge. So then they step on the tail and then they cut off their heads, right? I think so. Yeah. yeah. I was never really into that kind of stuff. That was a different <laughs> world for me too. But and he eats the turtles. Mm-hmm. A turtle isn't actually as bad as raccoon and squirrel. And all. A good day in Richard's house is turtle. What? A good day in Richard's house is turtle. <laughs> no raccoon yeah. this week, Richard. Dad caught a turtle for dinner. Happy hey, Thanksgiving. Thank awesome. you. Put some sauce on it. It's a little game. <laughs> One time we got real lucky. An Amway salesman came. Oh, I shouldn't talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> that poor turtle, man. But you, you'll also hunt deer and that sort of thing. Yeah, my and dad You like does, deer yeah. meat, right? Oh, that that's I a like. treat. Yeah. Yeah. But deer. I mean, deer over raccoon seems like a slam dunk. Oh, you know? yeah. I wonder if in the ghettos, like when Richard's father comes to town, it's like the ice cream man, you know? <laughs> oh, here comes the raccoon man. We're going to eat today. What kind of bell does he put on What's he sell to black people? Uh, how much does it cost for a pound of raccoon yeah, Well, for a full raccoon, it's like $2. <laughs> <laughs> how much? We're going to eat tonight. Well, how much is this a raccoon, my oh, man? <laughs> and he's, he just puts it in his pickup truck and drives $2. to the worst. Is drives... it worth driving but a tank of gas? Right. Well, he ta- he went, he he saves them up. He puts them in the freezer. And oh, that's saves frozen them. That's raccoon. sanitary. Yeah. Frozen raccoon. <laughs> we like man. it fresh. <laughs> and then he drives. And hey, it's... you white man, don't you be slipping me no squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> He's the Colonel Sanders of coon meat. <laughs> and once he start making coon burgers and stuff, and uh, uh, franchise. He could have a whole thing going on, the new yeah, McDonald's. Should, should open a restaurant. No kidding, yeah. man. Like, what about, seriously, I, I thought raccoons have like 80% rabies. Um... They probably do, but I guess when you cook it, it cooks out the rabies. <laughs> it cooks it out. <laughs> cook it until the rabies is out of Christy. it. Can you pound that 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 meat and like chop raccoon, it up raccoon and make lard. burgers? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you can make like um, almost like roast beef type burgers out of it. Yeah. So. And that's and not good. Sushi. No, it's horrible. Put ketchup on it and on a bur- on a bun. Well, my mom puts barbecue sauce all over. Mm. It. Tastes and like chicken. chicken. Good news, Richard. We got rats. <laughs> mm, we're going to eat good tonight, Mom. Feast your yep. famine. Ever eat a rat? No, no, not a rat. No. I draw a lot at rats. <laughs> <laughs> I draw a lot. That's squirrel what squirrel is a rat, man. Yeah, it's a rat with a big tail. I know. I didn't. I don't see how people eat this. You ate I, it. But you well, ate I tried it. it. I didn't eat it on a regular basis. Would bite. your mom like serve like corn and and squirrel? Yeah, like cornbread and squirrel. Yeah. And collard greens and squirrel. She had special it. squirrel recipes. And you know what? People like that always do a blessing. And I'm like... Thank you, Jesus, for this squirrel. And I'm like, you know what? You know, but really yeah. not pissed off. Jesus. Yeah, Jesus ain't providing that good, man. <laughs> this is goddamn really, squirrel. They really eat like that, like they did on the Beverly Hillbillies. Yeah, like possum, possum, yeah. And possum and vittles and squirrels. Oh, you, you know what I had last time I was in Kansas? I had Chipmunk uh, rock balls. <laughs> <laughs> well, close. It was, it was some sort of balls. It was uh, Rocky Mountain oysters. Oh, I thought what that is. Bull testicles. Right. Oh, you ate that? Mm-hmm. They're actually really, really good. I had them at a bar. They had a big bull testicle feed. Uh, yeah, that was actually attached to the bouncer, Richard, <laughs> at the bar. I was going to say, we know you like testicles. Damn. you got to be crapping me, man. Man, when you eat a raccoon, that is nasty. you got to be real hungry for that. I know. Here we go. I'll skip dinner tonight. <laughs> yeah, a lot of times. Yeah. Your dad, what does your dad make a year, would you say? Oh, it, well, Did when he, he was on 20 the, grand? Wait. When he was on the road, no, not when he was on the road. He was making twelve dollars an hour. Yeah, yeah, but we're talking about now. He's well, a raccoon. Yeah, he's king make, of probably Pinker. making less now. <laughs> what could he make? Like, what do you think he makes a year? Did you ever ask him? Mm, no. Hey, Dad, what do you earn a year that we're eating turtles? Well, he's just trying to supplement his in his retirement, right? Mm-hmm. If he sells, yeah. if he retirement. Sells, if he sells twenty raccoons a week, that's forty bucks. I know. It don't cost much to live in Kansas, though. So. I mean, their house is paid. More than but dude, bucks. how many raccoons can he sell to black people in a week? Uh, well, he so probably he goes about. He only goes into two black people twenty five <laughs> times. How many raccoons like can feed? Like, could one healthy raccoon feed a family of four yeah. for a meal? Yeah, for well, meal. probably a couple meals. And yeah. are there that many raccoons in Kansas? Mm-hmm. So oh, you there, can, I mean, there's how do you a catch lot them? of them. Uh, he just goes out with the coon dogs and and walks around till the coon dogs find one. And he shoots it. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. let me ask you something. You make a point. If he sold a truck full. 
of raccoons, he's made forty dollars and gas costs more. Yeah. See, but yeah. the, the clan pays him a thousand dollars a week to kill all the black people with raccoon meat. <laughs> what does he have? Like regular customers? Like he pulls up to the house and uh-huh. hey, black people, come get your coon <laughs> meat. I think he goes to real bad parts of town and he I just knows hope. like spots. To White go. people won't eat that Do stuff. Do they know they're no. eating raccoon? No. Yeah, oh, they love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they love it. Mmm, <laughs> this is good raccoon. <laughs> but I think I think he only has a salt and pepper. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna spice up this coon tonight. How do the black people prepare the coon? Oh, that I don't know. They fry it <laughs> or grill it. They must fry it. Uh, fry Probably it, right? fry it. Yeah, yeah fry it. Raccoon, raccoon. raccoon. tar. <laughs> they you might even what? they might even spin it like the pigs. You know, yeah, like on a spit. A, yeah. Rotisserie coon. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second, when your dad kills a raccoon, is it like he skins it, but is it like it's not cut into steaks, it's like an animal? No, it's not. No, no, it's a is whole it, animal. It's on so. the bone. Yeah. Do, do, oh, that's sorry. great. Oh, I couldn't man. eat that on the bone. With the head attached to? Mm-hmm. You couldn't eat it off the bone. Well, if it were a steak of some sort, I could pretend it's something else. Well, I mean, that's how he sells it. They probably take the meat off. Or and they something. strip it. And yeah. Stuff. yeah. They fillet yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanksgiving's going to be a hoot in the ghetto. <laughs> we got to go down to your place, man. That's why I got out of there when I was 18. That's yeah. a little too much for me, though. Yeah, that's heavy stuff, man. Yeah. What do you do now when you go home? You don't, you're don't. you suspicious of everything they try to serve you, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, i gotta, I got to test it. Yeah. Hey, where's Grandma? <laughs> <laughs> we just ate her. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we got them gator heads out in the bag. Yeah. Uh, Rich, this is your dad. I thought I'd call you. Hey, here's the head of the family. Oh, yeah. <laughs> got back from catching bullheads for fish bait. Them old flatheads, they, they like them bullheads. And had found another baby chicken yard. Had to take it to its mother, so... We'll talk to you later. Bye. What's he doing with uh, these phone calls? It must cost him a fortune to call you. Yeah. I mean, he's got to sell like 80 raccoons for one phone call. <laughs> well, he, he keeps it short, it seems, to the yeah. point. He and gets right to the point. Yeah. The thing that cracks me up is he's always saving these chickens. And, and, he and eating raccoons. And eating raccoon and squirrel. Maybe kill a few of the chickens. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, the chickens are their pets. They don't eat those usually. Hey, Mark, you're on That's the air. Cannibalism. <laughs> hey, Mark. Hey, how you doing? All right. Hey, uh, how come Fell ended up pleasuring himself? He left with a girl. Okay. Paul, you're on the air. Yeah, his father probably made most of the money on the pelts from the raccoon. That's what he gets the money from. Yeah, he probably yeah. got $40 for each of the pelts. Oh, you yeah. Think? Yeah, they, he makes pretty good money off that. I think that's why he, like when you were talking about gas, it costs more than gas. He would also go up there to sell the uh, the pelts. So yeah. it's the same trip. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. All right. King of all Japs, you're on the air. Hey, how? what's up, dude? Hey, man. Yeah, I love your stories, but earlier when you were talking about, you know, the private on the legs part, whipping, it yeah. was cut up, dude. Yeah, well, we're go- we are we got, I think, three months now, and, we're, and believe me, uh, I mean, you got great stories, and it, and it just doesn't make sense. Dude, half the stories. And it's really depressing. Half the topics I want to talk about on the air, I just don't even go to because I know I can't tell them in a clean way. It's it's all going to change. It's all going to be different in three months. I mean, yeah, when I fir- yeah, when I heard you like on Califex, when you first came here, it was like it was you got you were you were great. It was funny. Now it's like it's really depressing. But I can't wait to go to ah, 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 yes and watch you there, brother. And brother, I w- I I have. We got two whole channels going up the uh, to the show and our sensibilities. It's going to be our own friggin' universe, brother. I'm going to love it, bro. I can't even tell you. I mean, I, I, I just can't even tell you how excited I am. I, I just got to get out of here. It's time. Yeah, I don't it's, blame you. It's time to end this. I'm, I'm free. Uh, uh, after the second week in December, we're gone. We're going to hey. be on eh, 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 by the time Rich is ready to have full bone sex with a man. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to get really good because he's going to be having that on the air. I think. Hey, Howard. Yeah. Can I ask a question? Sure. Um, maybe one day, can I get on your show and have do a show like on um, Ask the Jap? I mean, ask no, the Jap. no, I don't, I don't know what that means. Ask the Jap. <laughs> why do you have to ruin my? Why do you have to burst my perfect bubble? <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Hey Howard. Yeah. Something else that that my dad does. It's a real adventure. Is uh, he sets these limb lines in the river, and and. 
puts, you know, like bullhead and other little fish on them. And he comes back the next day with the boat and goes down the river and sees what's on the line. And when I was a little kid, it was fascinating because you see these limbs move up and down and you know something's on there and you don't know what the hell you're going to pull up. <laughs> hey, we caught three black people. <laughs> What? And a revenuer. <laughs> well, I'm sitting here thinking, yeah, the IRS is now finding about this lucrative fur trade. <laughs> uh, why don't your dad grow pot? A lot of these farmers are like, like hillbillies are growing pot. Man. Yeah, oh, it's big in Kansas. Yeah. Uh, we but... got into the crystal meth business. <laughs> <laughs> Finally built a lab. Hello, Richard. We blew up the trailer. <laughs> we built the lab in the barn. Yeah. Out by the chair. Yeah, by the geeters. <laughs> okay. Boy, those blacks love crystal meth as well. <laughs> that and coon meat. Yeah, we take the raccoons and the crystal meth. All right, let's go. Let's go to Kenny. Kenny, you're on the air. Xin chào các mọi người, và lên bên em về một chiếc Hyundai Tucson Xe sản xuất 2018 bản 2.0 tiêu chuẩn Và Tucson là một trong những dòng xe của Hyundai Xe 5 chỗ rất là bán chạy, xếp tốc hàng tháng rất là nhiều Xe này phiên bản màu trắng rất chuẩn của Tucson luôn Màu trắng màu đỏ mận Đấy, và em sẽ quay tổng thể chiếc xe này Con này rất là tiếc một chút là nó lại bị bụng sinh vào phần sắt xi, đấy vì vậy là...